things may um take us back just give us a short glimpse of your very special moment with the queen a few months ago when she gave you that that prestigious award um that meeting with the queen was was really a surreal experience it was something that i wasn't you know even thinking that was going to happen in my lifetime um it was so special it's honestly so surreal that when you meet her she's like a lola um i remember my lola um when i met her and she's so sweet and she was so funny um and she was she was old she was 96 she was frail but she had so much life in her um yeah i don't think yeah so when i heard about it today i think i was shocked and you know almost kind of oh, i've just seen her you know she was well and she was okay but again you have to understand that she's old and she's you know she's been doing this for so long and if you remember she's been she's met our new prime minister two days ago so she has been fulfilling her duties as the queen um endlessly to the, to the end and um yeah i i think i'm as devastated as everyone else in the country it might be the whole world so it's not a time um i think we have to kind of just think about the life that she's lived and the things that she's done and um yeah um it's shock really for me um i don't think we'll ever have i don't think we'll see an, another queen in our lifetime it's all going to be kings from now on isn't it so the queen is truly special she's never ever wavered in her service she's always been um kind and the strength and the you know she's the She's the constant for a lot of people. Um, and now we're gonna go through the change and we're gonna go through an enormous change of not being able to see her anymore and only just to remember her by. Um, yeah, I, I don't wanna cry. I've cried too much today. It's me, you've mentioned the world. You're gonna be remember, you're gonna remember her that special moment with her. The last time you told me when we had an interview was that she was so light, she was so funny during that short encounter. Can you tell us something? What did she say? What are the things that she mentioned to you while giving that special award? Um, she obviously said, she, well, she was so funny, first of all, because that's, that's what she's like. Apparently she, she just makes you feel at ease straight away. So obviously cracking a joke um, from early on from the beginning, because she probably knows how nervous people are. She she said to me, oh, so what what do you do? She asked me and then I said that, oh, I, I'm a nurse and I manage the COVID wards and I also did the uh, COVID vaccination. And she was actually, she actually asked me, are you still alive then? So why <laughs> kapa? So, because I dealt with COVID and the vaccination, so she was obviously trying to crack a joke, and I was so taken aback, I was like, and then she repeated it again, because I didn't quite get it, because I wasn't expecting that joke, and then she said, and then we all laughed, and she repeated herself, and it's, yeah, yeah, and, you know, I, I am still alive and you know we're plodding on and I said how terribly proud I was of the COVID vaccination rollout and how successful it was and how it was welcomed by everyone and she commended it and she said how amazing it was and how millions of lives were saved which I agreed and when we were sitting down for the official photographs after she's spoken to all of us uh, in the room um she told us not to look glum in the photos when we sat down. And so Sabina in the Queen's order, she was like, don't look so glum in the photos. So we were all giggling because she's so funny. So that's the one of the things that you wouldn't expect from a queen to say to you, but she did. And so it's to kind of make you feel at ease and welcomed. And, and that's why you kind of feel this warmth of affinity towards her because she's, 
I don't know if it, if cute is relevant to her. And I, I think it's a more of um, you feel you kind of want to hug her in 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 love because she's she's so nice and she's so welcoming and she's she's she, you know she she really wants to make you feel at home or at least comfortable. Um, yeah, I. I I think we're all feeling a terrible loss and that moment in time that I spent with her you know I was telling her about how grateful we are as um, a nurse and a healthcare workforce for for the um, recognition for the award and the fact that she's actually welcomed us um, in her home and that you know to present us with it because obviously that day we weren't actually expecting it from her she we wouldn't we weren't sure whether she was going to be the one giving us the medal um, obviously, Charles was doing 100 people's uh, investiture that day, so uh, we only found out kind of half an hour before that she was actually going to do the, the, uh, the award. So for me, that says a lot about dedication. That's That means a lot about service. That means a lot about, um, you know, your responsibility and to honor the 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 reward it's almost like i want to give it to you personally because i just feel truly um truly grateful for the bravery of the workforce in in the nhs and she presented it herself and even though that's the first one that she's done in in you know for the first two years since covid that's the first um uh things that she's done personal um event that she's done so we felt kind of we felt really special you know how when people kind of hold you dear and when they they make you feel special and that's what she did with us and i think that's what she did with a lot of people yeah so i think everyone's just gonna feel the loss of um, someone that they hold dear and someone that's been constant in their lives so um, yeah a lot of people are going to be in mourning. Mm -hmm. Miss May just a last question I know you're not given a chance to you know to say what you really want to say to the queen when you had your first encounter with her a few months ago now this is the moment what do you want to say to the queen um, no, I just want actually the only thing that I was um I wanted just to kind of make sure that she's okay, you know. I don't I wonder if anybody else asks her how was her day, how how is she feeling, how's how's life going on for her, you know. That's the only thing that I wanted to kind of say. But obviously, if now, obviously, if she can hear uh, anybody, I'm sure they would one of the things I'll probably say is, you know, thank you for, for being constant um, through all the trials and the tribulation that the nation has gone through. She's always there to um, gather the people around her and give her them their strength. And, you know, and I think a lot of people respect her for that. And a lot of people love her for that. Um, and I just want to say thank you for, for all those things that she's done, not just for the UK, but across the world in the Commonwealth. And, and she can now rest. I mean, she's been working since two days before she passed away. So I suppose now she can rest. And she's probably nursing a broken heart from losing Philip as well, not too long ago. So, um, yeah, she can now rest in peace in God's grace. So. Yeah. Yeah, I think everyone is kind of mourning, even those people that are not uh, royalists. Um, I think everyone has always been looking at her there's there are people now that has only known her you know she's the only thing that's constant whatever is happening to to everyone whatever's happening in the country in the globe she's always the constant one that we look up to and go actually the queen will guide us the queen you know we see the queen and she's she's there ever for us so it's almost kind of like i don't know she's the beacon of hope for us uh, well 
everyone is sad but again I think everyone is also understanding that she is old and death doesn't escape no one escapes death you know um but yeah um everyone is kind of somber and and sad obviously but that's nice we will yeah, it, everyone will be grieving in the next, you know, few days and thinking and remembering all the jobs and all the work, good work that she's done. Um, yeah, I think after the Jubilee as well, seeing her so happy. Um, yeah, it's it's a time for change. And I don't think it's ever going to be quite the same. The Elizabethan era is finished. So. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Mary Smith, no. for your time again and again for this exclusive interview. <laughs>